why do people um, call people stupid Filipino? Um, Filipinos find it very offensive, but also I find it it's not true. Um, people often do it because of the re-electing of corrupt politicians, for example. Uh, President Iraq being ousted and then he comes back as mayor of Manila etc but I want to point something out here when I made that video about the Philippines being the western future it's because we're getting to there now we've got politicians that do what they want we've got politicians that the vote doesn't matter we've got corporations back in both sides anyway so we're stripping ourselves of rights all the time and nobody does anything. The majority of people sit on benefits. You know, I'm not being funny. They do. The the figures. I'm not on about unemployed. Unemployed are part of it. But you can have people on disability under mental health act. You can have people that are working with family tax credits, etc. They're all benefits. So the point being is, we've got society that is already predominantly run by people receiving funds from taxpayers that work which gives you the majority now that majority vote wants reality TV, X Factor and all that sort of stuff and as long as they've got beer and fags and that sort of thing they're very easy to manipulate and this is why you see in the Philippines you'll get large votes uh, they'll go out and give away t-shirts, throw parties and stuff to manipulate votes um, and the UK and the West are in a similar boat the worst case than this is we've got to a point where personally there is no politician I would vote for I'm not saying for uh, Prime Minister I mean literally I cannot think of one politician I would vote for at all because I haven't seen one that isn't self-serving um, and more important I haven't seen one that's actually competent so I'm just want to point out that when people go stupid Filipino it's often tied to politics yet I'm sitting here going ours are no better anymore now the other side of this on the positive spin is the fact is how many nurses are in UK hospitals I'd say about at least a hundred to three hundred per hospital that I think that would be reasonable I would say that a lot of the stuff that moves around the world requires Filipino engineers I would say that the fuel in your car relies on Filipino Filipino engineers in the oil fields the reality is they're all very capable um, but also knowing people from the oil field being to the oil field etc and they have had different types of people uh, from different nationalities etc they will always say give me a Filipino any day and they'll put them above other people I'm not going to say what races and countries these are I'm not having people arguing with me over it this is from people that actually run quite large contracts um, and operationally Filipinos are reliable Filipinos will follow their um, letter to the T so if you've got a process they will follow it um, and that's why people like using Filipinos in those environments because they do as they, exactly as they're told so I just wanted to put this out there because personally I don't see the term stupid Filipino being of relevance to anywhere um, except to say if you're worried about the masses, you better look at our own because we've got exactly the same issues where you've got people that are easy to buy, you've got people that have a low standard of education, we've got an education system that's lowering, we've got people that just get f f gravy fed on TV. They are becoming the majority. And when that happens, you've got people with low education, low expectations and they get used to the environment they're in as such when things start disappearing um, like in the in Worcester uh, in the UK they 
removed the real library and put this thing called the Hive because they had government funding for it. It's a multimedia and crash and all. Here's a, here's a question. Where's the books? They skipped all the books that were at the original library. I'm not saying books. I'm talking thousands of books. What they've put in its place is not a library to me. It's not anywhere near the same size and level. Um, and it's... It almost feels like it's a bit like the um, Hitler book burnings, but stuff that's actually been allowed to happen without people really noticing. And libraries are used a lot. A lot of people say, oh yeah, but we do stuff online, etc. Yes, but a lot of the people that actually read books go to the libraries, and a lot of the people that read books have a fairly high education level because they're also always absorbing information. When everything goes reality TV, we're doomed. <laughs> right, thanks for watching.